Bonjour mes amis. Here I am in Cognier-sur-Mer in France. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit hoarse still. Our team left Monday, today is Wednesday, and I was kind of taken out the last couple days and forced to stop and recover. And in the months leading up to the Hope Adventure, I was going full speed ahead nonstop. So I feel like this was kind of a forced time to rest. So I was resting and um, stayed on with a, another girl that stayed on with the trip. So I'm heading out to Geneva, Switzerland tomorrow and praise the Lord, I took a COVID test. I don't have COVID. That was just a peace of mind thing and to ease my travels tomorrow. But before I leave this beautiful place, I wanted to share an incredible moment with you that happened in my life. And I pray that it blesses you and encourages you in your own journey. A couple weeks before I got on a plane to come here to France, I was meeting with my spiritual director, who was just someone who helps me really stop and slow my pace to really connect with God, to ask him, where is he in my current situation? What is he saying? What's he doing? And so I wanna share something that she read to me and then share kind of what came out of that. It says, I pause at the sacred threshold of this moment, suspending all of my knowing and all of my skills and I wait to be shown my place of entry. I bow in reverent awe before the mystery, and I am drawn into the place of going, and I am transformed. What stuck out to me when my spiritual director read this to me was this bowing in reverent awe, the place of mystery. So I want to show you now, I don't know if you can see this without me flipping the camera. I had this vision that I was standing in this cove area here in Nice. I didn't know it was Nice at the time, but I was standing at this cove and I was bowing in worship. But see, it wasn't sand, it was rocks. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but this beach, that's not sand, that's rock. And so one of the first things that happened when I got to Nice is we had a team dinner at the water two days in and we walked up to this cove and I just had this profound moment where I thought, I've seen this place before. And it's the exact place where I'd seen myself in this cove like bowing in reverent awe of the mystery. The, the mystery of God represented by the ocean, which is so many things. It's powerful. It's a life-giving force. It's deep and rich and colorful and wide and full of life and also a place of mystery and unknowing. And so I saw myself in this vision during this prayer time as I was reflecting on this thing that I just read with you. Um, I saw myself bowing on these rocks. And then I was reminded of the verse that talks about, don't build your house upon the sand, build your house upon the stone. And I thought, you know, Peter was called the rock. He will be the rock of the church and Christ himself is the cornerstone. So I just wanted to share with you something that God showed me before I even got here this beautiful posture of bowing before the mystery of God. And here's the thing, I've been on this trip in France. This is an amazing, amazing team of mostly Americans. It was an incredible week of serving just by being there for the one. I had a really powerful encounter where I had an hour long conversation, half in English, half in French, about deep, deep spiritual things with the transgender male, female, um, who was probably in, his or her 50s we just talked about the world and we talked about Jesus and I was able to just bless and encourage Laurence and, and just call out the good of God that I see in him or her I was able to pray over this person and the whole time I was speaking in dialogue learning with the posture of learning and seeing as God sees I just was reminded that this project is for the one. I don't know who the ones are. I can give you more names now than I had before I left on July 18th. 
I have lots of names. I've got Dave and Sophie and Laurence and Ami. And then I've got names of even the students who are on this trip that I was able to have some great pastoral moments with. So I just wanted to give you a quick update before I leave this beautiful place and you can see this water behind me. I'm gonna go swimming to hopefully breathe in a little bit of um, Mediterranean Sea salt for my congestion and things. And just pray that it gives more healing. But I wanted to share this with you that we bow in reverent awe before the mystery of God. And sometimes he puts us on pause. There are things that I thought he was planning for me this week that I had to cancel because of my sickness. And yeah, that's frustrating because I came all the way around the world. But I feel like Jesus has invited me to pause this week to recover because there's more ahead of me. I've got to pace myself just like you have to pace yourself. But thank you for your prayers. And I just want to be um, encouraging you that we bow at the mystery of God. He knows he has a plan. He has a greater vision for our lives than we could ever have. So lean into him and when things don't go your way or when you're sick or when you feel like everything's going sideways, trust that he knows and be asking him, God, what's your invitation here, Jesus? What is the invitation in this place to follow you? because despite a little bit of frustration and not feeling well, and because of that, not being able to do this refugee project I thought I was gonna be working in and doing some spiritual direction with some of the staff that I've met around here, I trust God has a way, he has a better way. So I just wanted to encourage you, and um, I will post the picture of the picture that I took that was at the beach that represented what God had showed me previously before I came in. It was just, he showed me in the supernatural what's real in the physical. And that's another reminder. Things happen first in the spirit and then they come to fruition in the physical. So be blessed. Thank you for being patient with me as I've been so busy and not even have time to update you and then was sick and was not feeling up to it. So thanks for your grace and your patience. I wish you were all here with me and many blessings um, here from Bethany starting in France with the Hope Adventure.